Okay, hi you guys. Uh, so, this is going to be your reading from the 5th of February. Uh, going through until the 11th of February. And uh, today we are actually, we are going to make this reading a bit short. Um, we are just uh, pulling one card here from the Buddhism uh, reading cards. And then we are uh, pulling one from the Golden Wheel, the regular uh, tarot uh, reading cards. Uh, so let's get started here. Uh, we will be pulling your overall message um, of the energy surrounding you at this time from the reading cards. So what's your overall energy message for Aries? Starting off with Aries. Pure thought. We are shaped by our thoughts. We become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves, Buddha. Look deep into your heart and question the motivation for your thoughts, as well as their truthfulness. Do they lead to happiness? When you can remove your own personal fantasy stories from your thoughts, you will be able to embrace reality simply as it is and understand that there is a divine purpose to everything that happens to us. There you go. All right. Now, quick uh, pull of cards here from the Golden Wheel. And we're going to go through with past, present, and future. Message for Aries. Okay. So we have the chariot. Then we have a knight of cups in reverse. And we have four of wands. So in the past, uh, some kind of energy could have been coming towards you or you could have been having a lot of movement um, that was going on. In the present situation, we have Knight of Cups in reverse. So uh, this is telling me Um, you could be dealing with someone that's kind of jealous of your situation right now or kind of in an unrealistic mood at this time. Um, Four of Wands is telling me uh, that there's a celebration coming. There's kind of a joyous or harmonious um, energy that's coming, um, that's going to be coming towards you in the end. And that's what I have for Aries. Now we are moving on next to Leo. Leo's reading. And let's take a look at the overall uh, energy message for Leo. Loving kindness. When we feel love and kindness towards others, it not only makes or fee others feel loved and cared for, but it also helps us to develop inner happiness and peace. And that's Dalai Lama. Lovingness, loving kindness is the distilled essence of pure love. As you open your heart, you are able to love the unlovable, bring joy to sadness, faith to 
to doubt and light to darkness. Uh, cultivation card here. Taking a look at past, present, future situation uh, right now for Leo. Leo's message. We have King of Wheels reversed. Then we have a Queen of Wands. And then we have Page of Swords. So Pentacles, uh, King of Wheels, King of Pentacles, in reverse, in the past situation. So um, that is kind of telling me that you were dealing with someone that was very stubborn. You could have been dealing with someone that's unwilling to move, unwilling to budge, causing some conflict or creation um, in the past situation. Now in the present situation, I feel that you're feeling very confident and focused towards something. You're focusing and confident and uh, moving forward in some kind of victorious energy. A uh, page of swords uh, is some kind of communication. Swords, um, air energy, so... There's some kind of impulsive action. It can also mean that there's some kind of communication that's quick communication that's trying to come through. But I feel that you're moving quickly. There's something uh, coming um, that's going to happen really very fast. So um, you might not even have time to really think about it. But you might just jump into, into whatever it is. Now we are going to move on next to Sagittarius. Sagittarius overall energy. Pure effort. Enlightenment is not your bright, bright. Oh, enlightenment is not your birthright. Those who succeed do so only through proper effort. And that's Ramana Maharishi. Consider all spiritual teachings as an intellectual exercise to be practiced daily, diligently and with discipline. This constant effort to maintain your daily practice is central to all spiritual practices that brings about personal transformation. Now we are going to be taking a look at to be taking a look at what you have uh, past, present, future here.
So, in the past here, I feel that you uh, were in conflict with someone and you were very disappointed or in disagreement over something. I'm feeling that your mind is playing games with you at this time and and you're feeling like you are betrayed but I'm more feeling that that's your mind playing tricks on you. Now in the present uh, situation I see you working eight of wheels you're working towards a project you're working on a project or you're mastering some kind of educational skill. Um, in the in immediate future here, I see that you're going to be tested. There is going to be a test for you. Um, so kind of prepare yourself for some kind of danger. Now, let's go ahead and... Take a look here at Gemini and what Gemini's uh, overall message or energy is. Letting go. Some of us think holding on makes us strong, but sometimes it is letting go. And that's Herman Hesse. Now, letting go simply means allowing things to be as they are without constantly struggling to control or resist an outcome or continually reminding yourself of an unhappy past event or a negative emotion. Now we're taking a look at Gemini's um, past, present, future. King of Wheels, so you're something that you were making slow progress towards. Four of Wheels and Two of Wheels. All right, so in the past year, you were working hard and you were making some kind of slow progress or logically thinking out a situation and making progress along the way. Now, in the present situation, I feel that you are really holding back. You are... Either that or you're dealing with someone that's holding back, that's saving, that's um, hoarding ownership. Um, but you, or it could be that you're under some kind of financial crunch right now. Now in the future, we see a balance. We see where you are trying to prioritize things and you are trying to uh, juggle things at this time. Seeking this balance. Let's go ahead and move on next to Libra. Libra is reading. What is the overall energy message for Libra? Patience. At the end of the at the end of the way is freedom. Till then, patience. Patience is a fine, noble quality. It implies that everything is possible in the timelessness of space and being, and a deep knowingness reminds you that nothing can fail you but your own impatience. Taking a look at Libra's uh, past, present, future. 
present and future message is here. Six of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands. All right. So here I'm seeing you Six of Wands in the past moving very confidently towards what you want. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is showing that there is some good luck, some changes um, in the upright position normally means a good opportunities, good luck is coming, um, something is opening up for you. And in Queen and uh, Future uh, with Queen of Wands, I'm feeling that you're very focused, you're very confident and you are moving um, towards some kind of uh, project or energy. Feeling very confident about um, yourself and what you're doing. Now we are moving on next to Aquarius. Aquarius energy from for Aquarius overall energy for Aquarius we have letting go some of us think holding on makes us strong but sometimes it is letting go letting go simply means allowing things to be as as they are without constantly struggling to control or resist an outcome or continually reminding yourself of an unhappy past event or a negative emotion. Now we are going to be Taking a look at past, present, future here. Alright. Page of Swords. Six of Cups. The World. So you were uh, in the past very quick to act. Um, swiftly you fled towards some kind of immature decision. Or you could have had some communication, a new communication coming in in the past. Now in the present you are dealing with, <coughs> excuse me, some kind of sentiment. You're either seeking help or you're seeking some kind of sentiment and in the future we have the world we have the world meaning that there could be some kind of happiness clarity or triumph or and it can also mean that you're going to travel Now moving on next to Capricorn, Capricorn overall energy. For Capricorn, we have peace, compassion, forgiveness. These are the real ultimate sources of power for peace and success in life dalai lama by cultivating peace the profound universal wisdom within you will rise above greed to practice generosity wisely transform hatred into acceptance and anger into loving kindness you conscious your conscious choice to transcend these delusive forces within you will be the mo moment your experience profound you experience profound inner peace.
taking a look at past, present, and future. Page of Swords. Three of Swords. And Ace of Swords. Now this is all swords. This is like air energy all over. So I'm feeling um, with Page of Swords there, uh, you had some kind of quick action, some communication or quick action towards some kind of decision you made quickly. And then with the Three of Swords here, I'm sh um, showing that you were heartbroken, you are in grief over some kind of situation in the present moment. Now, with Ace of Swords there, I'm showing a new beginning. I am showing some kind of opportunity or clarity is going to open up. I um, mean, you're going to come out of this successfully. That's what I have for Capricorn. Now, we are going to... Take a look here at Taurus. Overall energy reading for Taurus. We have desires. The root of all suffering is desires. The steady stream of human desires are directing you away from the beauty of the present moment to the fantasy of the future, taking you away from the, dis from the appreciation of what you've got and what life is offering to you right now. Now we have past, present, uh, future for Taurus, Queen of Wands, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. So in the past, you were very confident and focused towards something. You were moving uh, directly, you were... Um, or maybe you were dealing with someone that was very confident or focused. When you were confident, in the past you were confident. Now in the future I feel like you're needing some help. You're needing some caring, some sentiments. Or you are remembering something of the past. And in the future position I see you moving forward, getting some clarity, getting some kind of new opportunity um, for success. Moving on next to Virgo. Virgo's overall energy message. We have pure livelihood. Your work is to discover your world and then with all your heart give yourself to it, Buddha. Inside each of us, there is, no, there is a longing to do work that helps others experience greater happiness and joy. Work that builds a better world. Consciously choose not to harm others in your work environment and endeavor to find inner joy and satisfaction in your employment. Know that the love you put into your work will inspire personal growth. You have two of wheels, 
the fool and queen of wheels so in the middle major arcana here all right so two of pentacles uh, in the past, you were trying to balance things, multitasking, trying to get your priorities together. In the future, I show a new beginning, someone that's having a new renewed spirit, uh, a new leap of faith, or just taking a chance at something. Queen of Wheels in the future shows that you have someone that's very responsible, maybe very wealthy, um, could be practical. Or maybe you're trying to be practical about some kind of situation. Trying to be responsible and practical about some kind of situation. Go ahead and take a look at Scorpio. Scorpio's uh, overall energy. Wisdom. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back and choose the path that leads to wisdom. As the Buddha taught, wisdom is the actual means by which we can purify ourselves. Just knowing this brings calmness and then faith and eventually it brings truth to the light. So, uh, first position, Queen of Cups in reverse, Seven of Swords, and the Devil. Alright, so in the past, in the past I am feeling with Queen of Cups that you wanted. There was a lot of insecurity, something that was kind of um, suffocating you with Queen of Cups being there. In the present position, I see that there is some kind of betrayal, there is some kind of secret fraud or theft going on. So be very careful. See, somebody is looking for this guy here. And he's kind of hiding away. Then you have a destructive pattern. So the, de the devil card can mean uh, some kind of destructive addiction or pattern or... Or giving in to losing your power, in other words. Giving away your power. That's what I have for Scorpio. Moving on next to Cancer. Cancer's overall uh, message. All right, so you have impermanence. Think to impermanence, everything is possible. Oh, thanks to impermanence, everything is possible. And that's teach not hang. When you can expect the impermanence of life, that everything is subject to change and that everyone will experience the ever-changing nature of life, you allow your faith to be renewed. Hope to blossom and every moment becomes precious. 
taking a look here at Cancer's um, past, present, future. Ace of Swords, the Devil, Seven of Swords. Oh my goodness. Okay. So uh, you had some kind of opportunity, some kind of new beginning that came along. But in the present um, position, I'm seeing that there's some kind of addiction or ending, um, some kind of destructive pattern there. In the future, you have Seven of Swords. Maybe someone um, betrayed you or kept a secret from you. Um, there was some kind of fraud or some kind of theft. Um, but Seven of Swords definitely indicating some kind of secret uh, plan or something of that nature. Let's go ahead and take a look at Pisces. Oops. All right, Pisces overall energy. Peace, compassion, forgiveness. These are the real ultimate source of power for peace and success in life. Dalai Lama. By cultivating peace, The profound universal wisdom within you will rise above greed to practice generosity wisely, transform hatred into acceptance and anger into loving kindness. Your conscious choice to transcend these delusive forces within you will be the moment you experience profound inner peace. Taking a look at past, present, and future for Pisces. The Fool. Okay, here. Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. Eight, eight of Wheels. All right, so the Fool. You took a chance towards something. You were free-spirited and there was some kind of new beginning. But in the, in the current future, Nine of Wands, indicating some kind of pain, impending danger. Um, you're kind of like being prepared for danger ahead. All right. Now, Eight of Wheels indicates that you will be working hard on a project. There is going to be some kind of opportunity that comes up that you're going to be needing your mastery skills, working hard on some kind of project or employment. And that's what we have for uh, Pisces. And that's all the readings for today. A really quick, short reading. Thanks for watching and join me next time.